Hey there. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Richie and I am a 25 year old living alone in San Francisco going through my uh, quarter life crisis. Mayhem. A few things I have come to realize since the videos I posted last week. Well, what was it last week? What day is it today? Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, a few things have happened over the past few days. One, I realized how to fix the white balance on this camera so that I'm not coming off as so orange. So hopefully this kind of fix up that situation. And secondly, I realized when I posted the past two videos that I did, it may be too soon for me to give advice, which I think I can now own and understand that maybe giving advice about how I moved out, maybe there's some substantial tips that I kind of gave or advice that I kind of gave, but I definitely think that put me in a weird headspace. Obviously, I was going through ups and downs of kind of hating my ex and all that stuff. So definitely acknowledging now that maybe it's a bit too soon for me to talk about the breakup in the sense of what advice I can kind of pass along to someone who's going through the same situation and stuff like that. But what I liked about my most recent video was that it was just like an honest kind of brain dump and dialogue of what I was feeling at that current moment and arguably what I'm still kind of feeling right now. Now. And so I felt like I kind of wanted to do the same thing. Yeah, that's that's the line for this video. If this video is of interest to you, please keep on watching. We can kind of just get started with that. The first thing that I'm kind of dealing with is grieving. I've really started to see this breakup as a death. Again, not to get more but I'm sorry. And it was something that my mom kept mentioning when, you know, it was right, you know, when the breakup was very recent. She was just kind of like, you're gonna go through grief, like you're really grieving. And I was like, well, he, you know, my ex is still alive you know like we're just broken up and I'm just really sad and she's like well no but like yes well yes yes but also you know your relationship is dead your relationship came to an end and that's such an emotional thing that you're gonna grieve and you know when I think it's coupled with the fact that I have had death in my family recently it's really it's been really hard for me to feel okay in grieving my relationship. It's been very weird to navigate through those emotions of mourning death and mourning a relationship. I find myself really getting caught up with my breakup and then I feel bad because I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm spending too much thought and energy and, and, and emotions on the breakup when I should be focusing that on my family members and so. Um, I think the other thing that has been on my mind, and it's, this is because I've been listening to a lot of podcasts from Jay Shetty, which I will link down, I want to say three, three podcasts that I listened to regarding my breakup and everything like that, that has been a tremendous help. There's one that I listened to like maybe a month after the breakup. That one was literally like five things to know when getting broken up with or getting to get over a breakup or to like heal through the breakup. I can't really remember the correct title of the podcast, but I I wish I had listened to that podcast like the week after I got broken up with. So definitely listen to that podcast. And long story short, one of the things that was mentioned in the podcast that has really stuck with me now was he had mentioned that you are not broken, your relationship is broken. That like struck a chord because I felt so damaged. I felt so like torn apart. Hearing that in the podcast that I am not broken, the relationship is broken, that grounded me. Right, that definitely like grounded me and made me feel like, okay, I'm not broken. Like the relationship broke and everything that I've worked for on my own or you know, what I built up for myself is still there and that the value that I have, my self-worth is still there and all that stuff. And so that is definitely something that I came to realize and has just been like, <laughs> to the front of the line in terms of my thought process. The other one, and again, I'll, this is from another podcast I listened to with Jada Pickett-Smith as a guest on it. And goodness gravy, she has such like a wealth of wisdom. But one of the things that she mentioned was letting go of our egos or checking our egos, I think is how she kind of phrased it. I think egos, you know, the way she was saying it, it's like, yeah, we have the super superficial version, a conceited one where it's self-serving and we think very highly of ourselves and all that stuff, but it's also the victimized ego where we're kind of feeling like the world's against us or how could this person do this to me like what did I do to deserve this and we kind of get engulfed in that and listening to that podcast really kind of just made me realize that I was kind of victimizing myself and arguably like in recent videos maybe I have been victimizing myself recognizing that I have an ego in terms of feeling like the world's against me or feeling like how can my ex say all these horrible things to me or say all these hurtful things or why I did 
why aren't certain friends checking up on me and things like that. Like recognizing that that is the giving in and into my ego has made me realize that it's just good to realize. It's me realize like, okay, like this is just my ego talking. Like, let me just put it at bay. And it makes me feel a lot better. Again, the uh, podcast explains it a lot better than me. And Jada Pickett Smith really relates it to your friendships, uh, definitely to your relationships. It's, it's very, it's been very applicable for multiple facets in my life. Um, again, it's mentioned in the same podcast with Jada Pickett Smith. She was saying, you know, like we're, we can be in a moment where we're questioning, like, why did this person do this to me? Or how could I, how could this person hurt me so badly? You know, those thoughts are definitely kind of going through my head. But then she kind of put it blankly. She was like, well, you've invited them into your life and why? And I was like, hmm. That's a good question. Or she kind of also phrased it as, what was your relationship serving for you? Or why why is it so important that you wanted to hang on to them beyond just the fact that they were your partner? It helped me personally realize that I wanted to hang on to my ex and I wanted to do whatever it took to kind of fix our relationship because I myself was so insecure that I would never find love, you know, after him. When she was kind of talking about it in the podcast, in that sense, it kind of, it didn't make the situation better per se, but understanding that is why I was so, or wanted, why I wanted us to get back together and why I was fighting so hard for it. And it, it kind of gave me closure, you know, it kind of made me be like, oh, that's why. And from that point, I was able to kind of think to myself like, well, this person loved me for five years and I was capable of loving them for five years. So yeah, I, I can find love. Just thinking about what the relationship meant to me in terms of what inner insecurities is associated with that relationship was really helpful. So the last thing, which is, I, I feel like evident for anyone going through any big life change is just like rediscovering myself. Every day, basically, for most of the day, I'm just thinking about who I am, what I wanna do, what I wanna be, and it's exhausting first off to constantly think about about me for that long and I'm like, oh my goodness. But also like during this quarantine, during the shelter in place, during the fact that I've been laid off, like I've had nothing but time to just think about it. And it's been at times very frustrating, most of the times very scary, very, very worrisome. But at other times I've had moments where I really try and savor, where I feel so incredibly good. And I feel so incredibly at peace to just learn something new about myself. I was like, I'm, I'm embracing the fact that I, I share, like I'm embracing the fact that I am a chronic oversharer. I wouldn't say chronic. Maybe I'm like a moderate oversharer. Before I would always tell stories and I'd give so much context and you know my ex was one of the people who would be like okay get to the point or like why like what is the point of this story and I would get so self-conscious of sharing any story at that point because for me I, I want to know every detail. Well not 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 maybe not that much but like I want to know the context right like I, give me the background like give me all the the you know character development story arcs that I need to be following and stuff like that and you know getting that kind of feedback I would get really like okay maybe I like need to be concise but you know I'm, I'm enjoying the fact that I overshare I'm enjoying the fact that I can open up you know just those are recent things that I didn't like about myself but now I'm really trying to embrace or really being happy that I have those qualities as of late and I don't know Again, um, similar to the last video, there, there's no resolutions. These are just thoughts and questions that I kind of ask myself or that I have going on in the back of my head. It felt nice to kind of just like talk about it, get my thoughts out. You know, lately I've had like a little bit of a hard time sleeping just because all the stuff that I just mentioned will run into my mind like right before I'm going to sleep. And I'm like, okay, cool. We'll just deal with this for another hour. So I enjoyed kind of sitting down and kind of chatting with you all about that. I think I need to figure out my posture a little bit because I'm like hunched over, laying back and like all over the place but yeah, that's not your problem that is a my me problem so yeah so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up I would love to have any conversations or answer any questions in the comment section below and if you haven't yet please subscribe to this channel I'm excited to post videos on Mondays and Thursdays hopefully it can help you out or provide entertainment for you either one works for me to be honest I will see you all very very soon please continue to take care of yourself and 
I'll talk to you all later. Bye.